Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of onion growing, and I'll be showing you how to plant onion sets, specifically Shakespeare and Senshu yellow varieties. Plus, we'll be experimenting with two different gardening methods, a no dig bed versus hugel culture. We're going to see which one grows better onions. So let's get started. So today is the 5th of October, and it's the perfect time to plant these onion sets. I'm planting two different varieties, Shakespeare and Senshu Yellow. These are hardy, overwintering onions, which means they'll grow through the colder months and be ready to harvest in early summer next year. When planting onion sets, I'm making sure each one is placed about five centimeters deep. You'll want to space them about 10 centimeters apart and leave about 20 centimeters between the rows. This gives the onions plenty of space to grow without competing for nutrients. First up, I'm planting in this no-dig bed. As the name suggests, there's no digging involved. The idea here is to build up the soil naturally by layering compost, mulch, and other organic materials directly on top of the ground. This protects the soil structure and encourages earthworms and other beneficial organisms to do their thing. Over time, this method improves soil health without disturbing it. It's a simple, low-effort way to garden. We'll see how it compares to our next method. Next, we have the Hugelkulte bed. Hugelkulte is a German term that means mound culture, and it's a raised bed technique that uses decaying wood, branches, and organic matter as the base. The idea is that as the wood breaks down, it releases nutrients and retains moisture. This method can be really great for water conservation, especially in drier climates. This bed should break down slowly over time, providing a nutrient-rich environment for our onions. It'll be interesting to see if this method gives us better results compared to the no-dig bed. That the onion sets are planted in both the no-dig and hugelkulte beds, it's time to let nature take its course. Normally, I'd water them in after planting, but today the ground is already pretty wet, so I'll just rake over the soil and leave it as is. Now, it's just a waiting game to see which method performs better. Will the no-dig bed come out on top, or will Hugel culture prove to be the winner? Only time will tell. Thanks for joining me on this onion planting adventure. I'll be sure to update you as the onions grow, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow along. Leave a comment below if you've tried either of these methods or have any tips for growing onions. See you in the next video and happy gardening.